YouTuber calls out other YouTubers for clickbaiting and gets mad when they point out he does the same thing. Today I woke up to this tweet from Jeff Hoogland, probably the biggest content creator in Marvel Snap at the moment. Seeing people claim new cards created new best decks in Marvel Snap less than a week after the release, when most people still don't even have those cards, is such cringe clickbait. Sad that YouTube rewards such content so heavily. For the record, even a card game like Magic, where it is trivial to get every card with your credit card, we generally don't know best decks a week after a release. In Snap, it certainly takes longer than that with the collection system. Someone replies to him, my least favorite thing about YouTube, garbage clickbait titles and thumbnails ruin the platform. I can't even fathom the creators doing it because it is the YouTube meta and it's the correct thing to do for growth. Jeff then replies, I don't fault people for playing the titles thumbnails game. You definitely struggle if you don't. I do fault people for making claims not backed by any data or reality for early clicks, which is what these claims are. Now, I've watched and enjoyed Jeff's YouTube content and I thought that he was a nice and genuine person. But these tweets kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Calling out your fellow content creators for something like clickbait, I think he admits himself you have to do in order to grow on YouTube seems kind of petty. Again, I don't know Jeff personally, so I didn't want to assume the worst straight away. I then went onto his YouTube channel and had a quick browse through his titles and thumbnails. Top 3 Silver Surfer decks to try in Marvel Snap. This needs to change. Why does the token shop look like this in Marvel Snap? Double up your win rate and she hogs with this Marvel Snap deck Higlite. Top 3 Galactus decks that could break Marvel Snap. Now this was uploaded 7 days ago, one day before Galactus actually came to the game. So why would you make a video featuring a card that nobody has yet and without any data to back it up how do you know that these three are the top decks with galactus top three thanos decks to try in marvel snap uploaded eight days ago so most players don't have thanos at that point because he hasn't been released yet so what is the point making a video about thanos if most players don't have that card yet most powerful series four and five cards coming to the token shop in marvel snap uploaded nine days ago which is three days before these cards were actually available to the public, where is the data to back up that these are the best and most powerful series 4 and 5 cards to buy? If you scroll a bit back, I played it 3 weeks ago on the 7th of November, top 5 Black Panther decks for Marvel Snap. Black Panther came out on the 8th of November, even if I'm wrong it's only by a few days. Now. The card itself actually hasn't come out yet. How do we know these are the top 5 Black Panther decks? Hmm, I think we need more data. The list goes on and on. It seems insanely hypocritical to me to complain about other YouTubers clickbaiting on Twitter while he himself does the exact same thing. Why is it okay for him but when the others do it, it's cringe. When people called him out on Twitter for his hypocrisy, he would either deflect, say that things were taken out of context or just outright block people. He went as far as to block people whose only crime was like a tweet that he himself disliked. Instead of seeing where he might be wrong, he doubles down on his responses and complains about YouTube creators taking offense to his tweet. The mental gymnastics it takes to complain about people doing something you yourself do and then act all mad and righteous about it is honestly insane to me. He tried to backtrack a little bit later by saying that his complaint is largely focused on actual video content making outlandish claims, but then he also says, you do you. If he really felt like that, he wouldn't have posted the original tweet in the first place. This stinks of a content creator trying to make himself look better while putting down other people's content. The whole thing has put me off from watching any of his content, which is a shame because I actually enjoyed it. And yes, I got blocked.